Quilters. It's Pam Heller from AccuQuilt. Thanks for joining me here at our headquarters in Omaha, Nebraska. We are so excited to showcase the quilts of Porfiria Gomez. She's a designer, a blogger, and one of our go-getters. She's also an incredible modern quilter. Let's check it out. First up, we have this really fun emoji quilt. It's called I Heart You. And this was actually Porfiria's very first time of being part of a sew along. And she said she loved it so much, no pun intended. The fun thing about this particular quilt is that I think that quilters sometimes think that hearts always have to be pink or red, but no, they can be yellow or any other color. Let's check out this one. Next up, we have lines. This is one of the quilts that Porfiria used our two and a half inch strip die with. And I love the fact that she just cut up random colors, she just cut up random sizes. And I think sometimes as quilters we think, oh, what am I gonna do with this leftover fabric? And I think that's one of the reasons that I love our AccuQuilt strip dies so much. We have 18 sizes starting from one inch to six and a half inches. And I think it's just really a great way to bust up your scraps and and look at this beautiful quilt, perfect example. All right, let's check this one out. Now this is called Big Star, and it is, isn't it? I love the big blocks. I love the variety of fabrics. It was just such a really great scrap buster. And I love the fact that Porfiria can make it in different colorways. Um, I've seen a variety of colorways that she's done it in, but just a really great way to create really big look of modern quilts. This one is such a great quilt. It's called The Color of Connection. And this actually was the brainchild of Porfiria and her two friends who created an online opportunity for quilters to come together during COVID. And the thing that I love so much about it is that the colors could be any colors you wanted it to be. You could use up your stash, you could use up your scraps, but the pattern itself is so versatile. Good morning, Porfiria. It's so good to have you with us today. I'm so excited to talk to you about your quilts. And honestly, I'm a huge fan of all of the quilts that are hanging here in our gallery. Thank you so much. I am so excited. I've been a forever fan. So thank you so much for having me. You bet. So every quilt tells a story. So let's have you tell some of the stories of your quilts. So the first one has is actually my favorite story. It's the Dottie quilt, the original Dottie quilt. The Dottie quilt is named after my mom, who's Dorothy. Love it. And she is the original person who taught me how to quilt. Really? Um, my mom, growing up at home, my mom was always doing something around the house. We had a vintage singer that she actually gave me. Um, and I remember growing up watching her make curtains for the house, making quilts for me and my brothers and when I grew up in the Bronx and when I wanted when I had the opportunity to put out my first pattern um, I wanted to be something that was um, about me and how I grew up right. and um, the daddy quilt is a Bronx quilt it's everything about growing up in Bronx New York and everything about my mom showing me was it's a simple quilt mm -hmm. um, and it was just all the triangles and the shapes that were in there were the shapes that I would see walking to school with my mom in the morning. And I wanted to incorporate that in the daddy quilt. Oh my gosh, that's a great story. So then your quilting journey kind of went from there as a child. And then did you do other things besides quilting before you became a quilter? Well, before I really got serious about it, it's so funny. Um, Quilting has always been something I grew up seeing and mm -hmm. doing, 
Um, during services growing up, I would see the women in our congregation, they quilted. I, I always had quilting around me, mm-hmm. but I wasn't serious about it until I had a family. Right. And I remember um, when I got pregnant with my first son, um, the quote behind you is actually um, the second version of the first version. I couldn't send the original because he right. sleeps with it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I had my um, first son, who's now uh, 15 years old, um, the first thing that came to my mind with my quilt and wanting to make quilts and get back into quilting was like the feeling of warmth and family. And then from there, I just started going back to everything I knew. And that was, like I said, that was um, 15 years ago now. Right. And quilter, I feel like I'm just growing in what, uh, growing in my own now because I'm right. able to reflect a little bit more and learn no, new skills um, when it comes to the quilting. You know, it's funny you say that because I had almost that same kind of experience when my kids were like second graders, I was like, oh, I should be quilting a little bit here. I should be making those things that that I kind of grew up around as well. Yeah. So yeah, I love it. And when you become a grandma, I became a grandma a few years ago. Um, Oakley has way more quilts than any of us have. <laughs> so just something to look forward to there. So yeah. Yeah. So tell me about lines, because this is actually a quilt you used with our two and a half inch strip die. Yes. Yes. So I love the two and a half strip die. I really do. And I'm playing with it because I love the idea of just using and modern quilting, just using these beautiful lines because you can create so many different dimensions, so many different things with just straight two and a half inch strips. Right. Um, Ordered more dies. Um, that have like the four and a half inch strip Mm -hmm. and the one and a half inch strip because I just love the idea of like these strips of fabric and sewing them together and just being creative in the whole part. Right. Well, you know, I'm I'm a big modern quilter and it's funny to watch our quilting journey, right? Because what we started with 15 years ago is maybe different than what we, we do now. And I love strips. I love the fact that we have 18 sizes of strips. And, and I use, just like you, I take my scraps and I cut them up. And, and then I have these variety of sizes of strips. And to me, that is so fun. You know, oh it just God. it just creates that little spark. It's like, oh, yeah. this is great. Um, now, you've made an improv quilt. So tell me about the improv quilt, because that one's really fun as well. So with the improv quilts, again, it's like taking, I think for me, uh, what I try to showcase mm-hmm. is that I like can quilt, right? Right. And some people hear when they start to read patterns. Even I, to this day, I, I, I'm working with different patterns and different people, and I'm reading the patterns, and then like it's like chaos goes off in yes. my head for um, and but the fun part is I feel so relaxed when you're able to just improv right you just you create you just get your sewing machine out you get your scraps out you get your cutting you get whatever tools you need and you just create right so with prop quilt of course it was just me just piecing things together cutting strips together cutting triangles cutting whatever I felt right. like doing I was able to just mush it all together and throw it into a quilt now, I just think that's beautiful because for me, that's really a hard concept for me to do because I I don't know, maybe I just have too much order in my life to think, oh, I could just mess this up. But, but I love the fact that you have taken all of those different shapes and created such beautiful pieces with it. I mean, to yeah. me, that is really a gift. It's great. So, um, so we're going to end with Color of Connection because this is really important to you. You created an entire community and a group of people to come together. So tell us about how this came to be and then what your hope is for it for the future. So Color of Connection was a uh, collaboration with myself, Niche Quilts, which is Michelle, Kiana, which is Color of Connection Quilts. We came together and we wanted to showcase how people can come together over a common thing, which is quilting right. and not worry what walk of life you've come from, who you are. It's just, we all have this passion for quilting. And um, it was the time we came together was actually um, a very tense time. It was uh, two, two, 2019 
2020 when everything was happening right. um, with COVID as well with as well as with uh, George Floyd, and there was a lot of things that we wanted to address um, in the whole quilting community, in the whole uh, quilting uh, world. We right. want everybody to be able to come together over a common thing, which is quilting, and not worry about uh, your race, your social economic status, um, where you come from. Just if you love quilting, let's just quote. Let's yeah. not. It really is a labor of love, and we're constantly pushing our message of if you're a quilter and you love to quilt, come join us. So, uh, Color of Connection is ongoing. We're getting ready to release our second pattern. Yay. We're super excited about that. Well, I want to give you a shout out to you and your partners for creating such a beautiful idea during a time where people were separated and isolated to create this concept of, hey, let's come together, let's be part of something bigger than ourselves, right? And do some good for ourselves and our community and our world. So kudos to you for doing that. And AccuQuilt is so excited to share your message. Um, we'll have our link here for our um, viewers to see so that they can be part of your connection world. And we're so grateful to be a part of it. So thank you so much for joining me today. It has been such an honor talking with you. It's just so great. Thank you so much for having me. I, I'm honestly honored by this. And it was amazing to have the opportunity to talk to you. Yay. Like I said, girl fan. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for having me. Quilters, thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time. And don't forget, at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more.